Okay, so we have Olivia Ray. Olivia Ray is a professional women's cyclist, very high level, very, very experienced rider, good in the bunch, good tactics, and uh, she has recently been busted, suspended for being honest about an experimental phase of clenbuterol antivir, aka oxandrolone. Two compounds which I'm like, why would someone want to take this as a female cyclist? It's like, no way. All right, <laughs> like, I'll, I'll tell you what, okay. I talk to a lot of women's world tour riders. Um, I've been around a lot of women, you know, professional cyclists. I'm, when I mean professional, I mean like, yeah, Olympic gold medal. I mean, you know, paying paying the bills. And actually, not that you get paid much as a pro woman, but since 1999, I've been training with, you know, some of the, the fastest women on wheels okay and so i will tell you what straight up man the level's not that high okay girls it's not hard to be a professional level cyclist as a woman you don't need to take any drugs okay you don't okay especially not clenbuterol <laughs> clenbuterol is the dumbest drug a cyclist can take it affects your recovery too much okay people oh, I'm use it for weight loss like if you <laughs> if you're using People, people, if you're using clenbuterol for weight loss, you really need to have me as a coach, all right? You really need because all the clenbuterol, all the, all the clenbuterol does is cause massive weight gain rebound, okay? So if you want to gain weight afterwards, clenbuterol is great, okay? <laughs> if you want, if you're, if you're thinking of using clenbuterol, you need to employ me as your nutrition weight loss performance coach, okay? Drewandride.com, all right? Don't take clenbuterol. I've never taken it. Never would, okay? <laughs> it's a dumb drug. Um, the only positive out of clenbuterol is it enhances breathing, but you could use other compounds. You could use you know, Ventolin, Salbutamol. You could use uh, Dextroenfetamine, Adderall, etc. You know, low dose. So clenbuterol is just dumb, okay? It's just dumb drug to use. Um, and let's talk about the next one. And now I've, I've used performance enhancing drugs, okay? I've used it, documented it well since 2014. So I'm not the person who's going, just, I'll, I'll be honest with you. You know, like, you're not going to hear this opinion from anyone in cycling but me. Okay. Unfortunate, but that's the truth. So the other drug that um, Olivia said she was taking was uh, Oxandrolone, aka Anavar, which is highly faked. All right. So Olivia says in her statement that she didn't notice any benefit. Now, whether that's true or not, who knows? But Anavar, I've used Anavar, Oxandrolone, and there's there's that that's got that's got a benefit to it. That's got a benefit to it. Um, the main benefit Anavar, Oxandrolone, in low dose, is it will enhance red blood cell count. Okay, it'll enhance red blood cell count. The problem is though, it's often very much faked. Okay, so unless you're getting a prescription, like I don't recommend using Anavar unless you have a prescription for it. Okay. Like, I've used prescription Greg Anavar from a doctor, okay? Prescription, okay? Quality, real Anavar, real Oxandrolone. And yeah, it boosts your red blood cell count. So that's that's a drug that's got positive things, especially for women. You know, it's like, it's almost like a EPO in pill form. But again, Anavar can cause a little bit of weight gain, you know? So it's like, you know, that's not something I really recommend cyclists take. Um, EPO's the gold standard, all right? But there's, here's the thing, not many women out there take an EPO, okay? There's not many out there taking an EPO. Like, the level's not that high. The level's not that high, okay? And most professional women cyclists, they come from, they're rich girls from private schools with eating disorders, okay? That's the majority of them, all right? It, you need to have some serious financial support to become a professional cyclist, especially a woman's one, female, because there's not much money in it, Okay? So you'll find that most, probably I would say 95% of elite women cyclists have raging eating disorders. And it's not me here making fun of it or whatever. I'm just saying that's how low the level is. All right? So if you're competing against someone with an eating disorder, you're going to beat them, you know, because they won't have enough sugar all the time. They'll be doing stupid fad diets and stuff. Okay. So the you, women, you, you can be, you could definitely be up there with the best without taking any drugs. Okay. Now, EPO is used. You know, by some some riders, you can sort of tell by these crazy peaks at certain times of the year. You know, and yeah, then you're not going to be able to compete with them. Okay, so if you're going to take any drug, then yeah, EPO is going to be the best. That's just, you can't get better than EPO. As a cyclist or runner, EPO is number one. 
I'm not saying you should, I'm just saying that's the drug you can't really get caught for. Like it's really, 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 really hard to get caught for using EPO. If you do a bit of homework about it, <laughs> if you're doing microdosing and just... But here's the thing, like that's not even really needed. Like to be a professional, you don't need that. Now to win Olympic gold medal, you know, against a strong field, then yeah, you know, we're talking EPO. But most women cyclists out there don't even know what hemoglobin is. They don't even check the hemoglobin, all right? <laughs> That's, that's how basic the, the level is. They're not even checking their hemoglobin. Oh, I don't know. It's, my coach says, okay, the doctor says, okay. And I'm like, are you serious? You're going to put in all that work, all that sacrifice, and you're not even going to monitor your hemoglobin. You're not even going to monitor your ferret levels. You're not even going to monitor your B12 levels. Like that, that's, are you, you going to run a disc brake bike <laughs> at the national champs? You're going to run disc brakes. You know, like it, we're, we're, we're talking a very, very low level here, okay? Now, I might sound like an arrogant douche right now, and I get it, but that's the track. That's the fact. The The level of women's cycling and running is quite low, okay? It's quite low, and it's largely low because eating disorders destroy the potential of most talent out there. Most talented runners and cyclists out there, they'll be destroyed by eating disorders, or they'll be capped by eating disorders. I see it every single day all right i've been a you know coach for women weight loss since 1996 okay there's nothing out there more devastating for women's performance than eating disorders you know and and, and there's a spectrum you, know, you got the full-blown girls who are anorexic and just go awol and you got the girls who maybe a little bit tubby a bit heavier and but they're starving themselves and they're doing bulimia and they're going to uh, have a two kilo bag of chocolate that night and you know the m&ms in the drawer and stuff so you know, and then they fear the sugar, and then they binge out, and they just yo-yo, and then they do clenbuterol. It's just silly stuff, man. Girls, get my coaching. Don't have to, you, have to, you can bypass all this stuff. The only drug, if you want to use drugs, use EPO, okay? You got. I mean, if you get caught with clenbuterol or Anavar, you get suspended, okay? And it's very hard to get caught for those compounds because <laughs> the half-life's pretty quick. But if you're going to do drugs, EPO's the game changer, okay? <laughs> Why would you? I mean, it's... It baffles me. And here's another thing is Olivia Ray, um, she got dobbed in. She never tested positive, okay? That's what I mean. The, the drug tests are so easy to pass, okay? Drug tests are IQ tests, especially for fast half-life acting compounds. And so she never got busted. She owned up, which I think is, you know, I mean, I mean, if I was Olivia, you know, I would have said no comment, you know what I mean? She, she incriminated herself and she got booted, all right? Professional sport doesn't reward honesty, okay? Yeah, I use drugs. Yep, Madeline, Madeline Pierce who dobbed me in, that's true, I, I used it, okay? There was no proof Olivia had used any drugs. There was no proof at all. There was some screenshots and some discussion, but there was no proof, okay? There's and it, it's discussion... In a text message, the court has to prove beyond reasonable doubt that you sent that text, okay? You could be at a party, drunk, and have your phone open on the table and someone sends a text in your name under your number, okay? That, that stuff could happen. You know, it happened to me one time. You know, I message my grandma and said, you're hot. Like, <laughs> it happens, man, okay? So just because someone sends a text on your number doesn't mean you sent it. So there was absolutely no, zero, zero evidence in a trial, Olivia would be found guilty. So, Olivia, you should have contacted me with asking me what to do. Never, ever admit you use performance-enhancing drugs if you're a professional athlete. Because if you do, they will cancel you, okay? You'll be canceled, okay? You'll be canceled by the fans who want to believe in fairy tales. You'll be canceled by the sponsors who want to continue the fairy tale bullshit, okay? So, this is how it is. So, don't own up to that thing. You know, it's it's not a... I mean, it's, it's professional sport, you know. People are doing that stuff. It's entertainment. I don't care if people are using drugs in sport, you know. I care if they're using drugs on social media to sell programs to 14-year-old virgin boys who think they're going to look like Ath Trend X or Matt Does Trend by buying their program and protein powder. I care about that because that's fraud. But sports people, like professional athletes, risking their lives going through corners and going down mountains in lycra skin suits with a little bit of foam, ice cream container on the head, 100k an hour, take what you want, 
You know, you provide me the entertainment. You're the one who's risking your life. Well, I don't care for you, ZPO. Um, you need to stay healthy. Get your job done. Provide us with entertainment. I mean, look at the Tour de France. We love it. We love it. We love seeing gladiators, man. Drugs rule in that sports world, you know? I mean, I, I wish it wasn't the case, but that's the case, you know? Oh, I, you know, I don't like Junior. I don't, I'm going to unsubscribe. I'm going to unsubscribe. So you're, you're living in fairy tale land, you know? You follow these elite level athletes, big names, and you think they're natural. <laughs> you're dreaming, bro. You're dreaming. So, I mean, most people have never even heard of Olivia Ray unless you're really in the cycling women's field. You'd know her because she, she's a very, uh, you know, very effective racer. But she's not famous. She's not making bank, you know? And, you know, she's dabbling in performance enhancing drugs. It just goes to show you how common these things are but again she didn't need to do it man she didn't need to do it okay you can win women's cycling events especially these crits totally natural you can do it you know, the, the most thing you'd take would be iron supplements check your ferritin first b12 and maybe a breathing aid like asthma puff it's ventolin or adderall adderall is really good for breathing you know Otherwise, doing it daily is going to affect your sleep and you're going to backwards. And that's the deal. So, unfortunately, I feel that Olivia Ray will be cancelled unfairly. She told the truth and the public doesn't like people who tell the truth about drugs. Okay? They'll cancel you. They'll cancel me. They'll cancel you. They just, you know, it's not how it goes. But yeah, Olivia Ray, she's young. She's in Natasha's age. She's born in 1998. She's just a baby. All right? She's just a baby. She means well. She's just, you know, following the, the the templates that are out there you know she got dubbed in by a mate Madeline Pierce I think dubbed her in you know like you gotta be tight the only person you can tell you're doing performance enhancing drugs is me <laughs> don't, don't trust anyone else okay um, you know because you know that's just how it works in the world out there especially in, if there's a love triangle apparently there's a love triangle going on there so you know it's, 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 it's dramas but at the end of the day Olivia Ray is uh, who loses out here? You know, loses out here. Now look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this picture here. All right, let's bring this picture up. All right, let's go to cyclingnews.com. You know. Um. All right, so look at this picture here. Okay, so so Olivia is winning this crit here. This is the Lions Den crit. I wonder if she got paid for that because they were a bit late with the prize money. <coughs> Williams Brothers spending it on Jordans and bling. Anyway, um. So you got you know like if that's that, that level of sprint there, you can see that Olivia Ray genetically has, you know, the perfect physique for crit racing. I mean, look at her. She's got a petite height. She's got these muscular thighs and hamstrings and calves and glutes, all right? And she's got that strong, Just she's just built for crit racing, okay? And so look at the margins you got here. That's, that's a quite a significant margin. But most of these other chicks behind her would be starving themselves, you know, trying to get skinny, starving themselves. So the power is shit. So you got Olivia Ray genetically got more power because look at her legs, okay? Plus she's got, you know, the prowess as a crit racer, track rider, so she can position herself in the bunch better. This gap here in performance isn't because of clenbuterol, isn't because of Anavar, Oxandrolone, all right? This gap here is te technical ability, genetic ability. They're, t they're two, two biggest things, okay? And nutrition, because let's be honest, she was uh, taking some sugar vice from yours truly. You know, like a lot of these girls here, I'd, I'd bet almost all these girls in this bunch wouldn't be taking off enough sugar. Olivia Ray, exception there. So, you know what I mean? So, it's, um, you know, that's just, anyway, that's just the deal there. You know, this is, you don't need girls, you don't need performance enhancing drugs to win most races uh, at, in cycling level. You don't. But if you do want to take anything, stick with EPO, okay? Stick with that. Don't mess with anything else, pharmaceutical or drug-wise, okay? It's, it's not worth it, okay? Use the best. Use the pro, the tried and tested. Get a prescription. Go for a whole load of Thailand, all right? Mexico. Get the real deal. Keep it in the fridge. And, uh, you know, get your iron levels checked and your B12. Just do, it, do it properly, all right? Don't mess around. Do it properly, okay? If you're going to dabble, do it properly. Okay. Do it professionally and stay safe out there, kids.